Hi everyone, this is Henry from MapTestAce.com. Today we're going to tackle a word problem that involves fractions but with a twist. The problem gives us a ratio instead of a fraction. I'll show you how to turn this ratio into a fraction to get the right answer. The problem says, at West High School the ratio of boys to girls is 8 to 9. If 374 students attend West High School, how many of them are boys? What does it mean to have a ratio of boys to girls that's 8 to 9? It means that for every 8 boys we have 9 girls. So imagine a classroom with 8 boys and 9 girls in it. The ratio of boys to girls in that classroom would be the same as the ratio for the whole school. So what fraction of the students in the classroom would be boys? Well, if there are 8 boys and 9 girls, then the total number of students in the classroom would be 8 plus 9, or 17. Eight of them would be boys, so 8 seventeenths of the students would be boys. And that's true for the entire school as well. 8 seventeenths of the students are boys. So now we can find out what the question is asking us, which is the number of boys in the school. 8 seventeenths of the 374 students are boys, which is another way of saying that the number of boys is 8 seventeenths times 374. With some help from a calculator, we see that 176 of the students are boys. There's our answer. Now what if I had told you that the ratio of boys to girls was x to y, and I asked you the fraction of boys and the fraction of girls. If you think about our classroom again, there would be x boys and y girls which means that we would have x plus y students in the classroom. Since x are boys, then the ratio of the fraction of boys would be x, the number of boys in the classroom, divided by x plus y the total number of students in the classroom. And for girls, the total num the fraction of girls in the school and in the classroom, which is the same thing, would be y divided by x plus y. This is a good formula to remember for the SAT or PSAT, and if you can't remember it, just picture that classroom and you have a good chance of figuring it out. That's all for today. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks!